Okay guys, we just picked up another 100cc racing car. Yeah, we got it from a subscriber of ours. His name is TJ, super nice guy. He just gave it to us. So really excited to get started on this thing. Okay, so all we need to do is really just get it running, fix it up a bit, and start driving it. Let's get started. Came with a six stand, really good for storage. Really convenient. So we already disconnected the battery last night and charged it up overnight. And amazingly, this thing did hold the charge. It's at like 12.9 volts right now. So, fingers crossed, it'll just like crank over. So let's see. Huh. Okay, well, so we definitely have a problem somewhere between this and the starter. Yeah, not surprised. Um, but this, this engine does seem like it's equipped with some sort of charging system. Yeah. So, I mean, it's got like this like gauge cluster and all of that. This is a really sick setup. So I guess now what we can try to do is jump start the starter and see if the starter works. Correct. Hmm. Well, okay. So there's something wrong with the starter, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. So we try to unbolt it and yeah. bench test it? Yeah, we'll just take it off and look at it from there. Okay, it's all unbolted. Yeah, so we can get this little guy on the bench and test it. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, it looks like the Statue of Liberty. Dude, this thing's not gonna work. <laughs> yeah. There's like metal shavings on the inside and rust and corrosion. It's probably got that bad. Huh? Yeah, that's actually. Hmm. None, none of, of the rest of the cart is bad at all, but this thing's really bad. I uh, so what do you want to do? Try to sand it? Yeah, I'm just gonna, for the heck of it, I'll try and like clean it up, but we're probably just gonna order a new one. So the brushes are super, super worn, but there is there is some left, so they probably should still work. I got uh, they got them both unseized, very greasy in there. But um, so one we got one spring, but on the other side there was none to be found. I kind of found like one coil, and that's about it. So I just took a pen spring, and I'm gonna cut it down to size, and hopefully that'll work. Yeah. There goes nothing. Yeah, no buddy. No way. Yo, pen springs where it's at. All right, Jason. Okay, so Woo. yeah, pen springs and just a little bit of de-rusting. I think we're good. Okay, so because this is a two-stroke, we're going to just try to fill it with some, or just put a little bit of oil in the cylinder before we get started, just so it's not, you know, just so that we're not cranking it over dry because the fuel is the source of the oiling. Here goes nothing. Yep. Whoa! Okay, I guess we should put this on a stand, but it works. Ew, dang, that got torque. Yeah, wow. <laughs> that's pretty strong. But... <laughs> okay, guys, so something that's kind of weird that we noticed when we were cranking it over is that the clutch is engaged. And we looked inside of there, and it doesn't even look like a clutch. Like, it has teeth on it, which connect to the starter. So... I don't understand that. Maybe this is like a, you start rolling and then you're racing, so hopefully <laughs> not. So let's yeah, crank it so over. Weird. It's a little jumpy because of all the compression this engine has, but it works pretty well. Yeah, so unfortunately this gas tank has a huge crack in it, but we're gonna take it out. We have other gas tanks we can use just to test. <laughs> <laughs> the quadruple zip tie. Amen. I'm gonna do the job. Should we go double? Yeah, I'm gonna do one on the bottom. Yeah. We don't mess around, no hack stuff. There's fuel. Woohoo! Okay, dang. You can just leave the filter off. We have fuel. Um, should we just try and start it? One thing, we have no idea if this thing has spark or not. So we should probably check that. Well, yeah, it's not really sparking. Um, one thing about the plug is that it did have like some corrosion on the tip, it's a little green at the tip, so maybe we can just try another spark plug and see if that works. Oh no. Nothing. Nothing, okay. So now we gotta go through the coil and the wiring and all that. 
Okay, so we finally solved the issue of no spark. We took apart pretty much everything on this on the electric system, looked at everything, we tested the coil, we tested the stator, everything seemed all right. But what the actual problem was, we'd searched a couple forms and we found out that sometimes just a starter motor is not turning it fast enough to get the spark. So when we put a drill on there and uh, spun it pretty fast, it sparks really well. So now we're gonna get some fuel to it and see if it runs. Wow, that's like really fast. Yeah, this, this drill chooches a lot better. It's plenty of spark. Let's try it again. This is like way faster. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, she works. Yeah, sounds definitely, really good. Definitely into a little carb tuning. It does want to die, but yeah, solid. All right, man, it's gonna be kind of hard to start though. Yeah, that's disappointing. That's a lot of drill power. We might need to ride in only places we have outlets. <laughs> <laughs> cool. That's a win though. So we got it running, it sounds amazing, but we actually don't know for sure what the displacement of this engine is. Um, could be a 60, could be an 85, or it could be a 100. So we really don't know. There's not that many identification numbers on this thing. We did a lot of searching. We asked you guys on Instagram. No one really knows what the heck this thing is. Um, so if you got one of these in your basement or something, and you know what it is? Let us know. All right, guys, we got air in the tires. Everything's tightened down, so let's go see this thing drive. Back to our developing neighborhood days. Um, we actually did get a membership to an actual racetrack. So if you want to see this thing on a track, hopefully, I mean, hopefully it drives good and stuff. But if you want to see it in a track, be sure to subscribe. But for now, let's just drive it here. We want to break it in because the track's about an hour away. So we'll just take it somewhere local, see how it drives, and then we can take it to the track. Okay, so there is, the clutch does not work on this thing. We don't really want to take it apart. We have a feeling it's going to either free up or there actually isn't a clutch. We really don't know that much about this engine. It's kind of hard to figure out. And we don't, we got it running and stuff and we just want to drive it. So hopefully either the clutch frees or it might not even have a clutch. It might just be a roll in your racing kind of thing, but let's drive it. So you probably will get to see that on the GoPro. I like tapped on the brakes. This thing just completely did a 180. If you can see the tires, they kind of like almost melted looking. So I'm assuming once we kind of get that layer off and we get down to like the normal tire, we shouldn't have that types of problems. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty fast actually. Really? You feel Not like bad. a KT 100s or? Kind of, yeah, pretty similar. Um, we do need to do some carb tuning. I, if I hold it floored, it bottoms or like bogs down at the top end, but if I bring it back a little bit, it goes faster. So, so a little, be tuning, a little but rich or? Yeah, I think so. Cool. 
Doing good though. Nice, right, so that's right. brings me back to the good old two-stroke days. Y'all OGs remember the KT100s and all that. We love these things. So I'm excited to finally get one of these out to a track and really tune it. Think, <laughs> yeah, it's really fun. It's kind of like the old KTs. Yeah. Um, maybe a little less power. I tried a little bit of tuning, but I do kind of. I think we should go on some forums, figure out exactly what we're doing. But yeah, uh, once we got all the stuff off the tires, it's like actually pretty yeah. grippy right now. Ooh. I mean, once I kind of warmed it up, like uh, wiggled the wheel back and forth. After I did that, I didn't spin out anymore. Nice. Super fun. It's not really nice to be getting back into like a normal engineered racing cart again. So yeah, really fun. Yeah. And I, it definitely sounded like it turned up more towards the end. Like your yeah. tuning was definitely helping. It like it, it was hitting 12 or 12,000 RPM and just kind of stopping there. So I'm guessing that's probably a safe RPM <laughs> go any higher. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. So the the micron seems like it's giving you good RPM. Yeah. I mean, all we get is RPM up in the top right corner, and then I mean it's got it temp still and speed. Says low temp. Yeah, it's temp and speed, but we don't have either of those. So. Okay. Cool. cool. Sounds like two stroke. Pretty good. I mean, she just keeps going. It's yeah. nice. Very feels very solid and reliable. Good grippy. Yeah, good grip. Nice. Engine runs well. Uh, it faster or slower than KT? Uh, it's hard to say. I would say about even. It's been really? a while since I've rode the KTs, but yeah, it actually um, once you get in that upper high end, mm -hmm. it gets, power band gets yeah. pretty gets pretty happy. Sweet. All right, I'm gonna rip it now. Huh. 
Okay guys, yeah, I haven't had that much fun in such a long time, since our last KTs. Um, I, it really just wants you, like you're kind of grasping for more and that's why I'm really excited to actually get on a track. Cause I'm always like in the back of my head looking for cars and stuff and like, if I could really just get in the zone and kind of have as much fun as possible at a track, I think that'd be so fun. So with that being said, thank you TJ. Uh, none of this would be definitely not be possible without you donating us this cart. Um, I hope you're glad that we got it running. We're certainly glad we got it running. So thank you, Go Power Sports. Thank all of you guys for watching. See you next time.